denominator. A common denominator exists when the denominator, the number at the bottom of a fraction, of two or more fractions, is the same. And so, if you remember, if you have a fraction, let's call it three quarters, the number above is the numerator. And the number below is the denominator. We've come across this many times. So if you have a fraction or two or more fractions, so three quarters and a quarter, then the denominator in each case is the same. And so this is the common denominator. But you don't always have fractions with the same denominator. You can have, um, well, three quarters again. But this time you might have a half. So these are two fractions. And uh, it's difficult to do calculations between fractions if the denominator is different. So we, w we need to have a common denominator and then we can do things like addition and subtraction. So one thing we can do is that in order to get the same denominator, we can multiply the 2 at the bottom by 2, which gives 4. And remember the rule that whatever you do at the bottom, you apply to the top. So we multiply that by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And it's exactly the same fraction. So a half is the same as 2 over 4. But now we can do things like um, addition. So if we wanted to add... a quarter plus a half then through this mechanism here of changing the denominator we can say 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4 as a half becomes 2 over 4 because they're the common denominator then we can write that number underneath 4 then remove the 1 over here, and then we just say add 2. And so 1 plus 2 is 3 over 4. So that's how we can do this calculation. So the answer is 3 quarters, 3, 3 over 4. Similarly, if we wanted to subtract fractions, then we do it in a very similar way. So if it's this I will just turn it around because it makes it easier. So a half minus a quarter. We then use the system, we convert it into this. So it's two over four. minus 1 over 4 equals 4 underneath, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, so 1 over 4. So, uh, sorry it's all a bit squashed, but um, I hope you can still see it. So, a half minus a quarter equals a quarter.